It's been said before that flesh and blood has a content creation problem. The argument being that, essentially, the tech and strategy content is not to the level that it should be for this type of game. And now, while I understand the premise, I actually disagree with the sentiment. I believe that, overall, Fab instead has a content consumption problem. A finance video or a speculation video on the new set or product release will get thousands of views. A good poll picture or a lowbrow meme on the Facebook group will get hundreds of likes within minutes. On the flip side, a video talking about meta trends, recent tournament performance, or a fab strategy video only gets hundreds of views with only a handful of likes on the Facebook share. In essence, the community at large is rewarding and thus encouraging content that focuses on fab the product and not fab the game. This is even further supported by Facebook and YouTube algorithms. Content that gets more engagement gets put on top and solicits further engagement. For example, and a little ironically, a gameplay video that includes a play mistake or a misplay will actually get more comments and as a result, more total engagement than a flawless and technically sound game. And when it comes to clicks, likes, subs, shares, and the like, these consumption trends are what drive many content creators to put their effort into. Why put a ton of work into scripting something and making detailed images and overlays when all it takes to get more clicks is a hot take? It just makes more sense and no one can really blame anyone for chasing the glory and the money. But this obviously isn't what I want for the game, and if you're here, likely you don't either. My vision for this channel has always been a player-first approach. Gameplay, strategy, community before competitive, player before finance. And none of that has changed, despite the unfavorable environment for it. I never would have imagined that I'd be in the minority in the community for wanting to talk strategy and theory and gameplay. However, here we are, and why today I'm here to talk about taking a more aggressive approach to shaping our little slice of the community. And in this effort, not only do I want your help, but I need your help. So today, join me as I announce my plans to make Dice Commando a community-focused, player-first bastion of flesh and blood. A huge shout out to our channel members for supporting what we do here. If you want to get involved with the channel and the Dice Commando community, please consider joining as a channel member. Remember, these videos are only possible with your support. You can show that support with a like, a subscribe, and by leaving us a comment and sharing your feedback. Community first, and go Commando! Hey there, Flesh and Blood folks. Welcome back to Dice Commando and go again, a fabulous cast. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in today. I hope your week has been going well so far. Actually, we're closing in on the end of the week, which uh, generally means more and more Flesh and Blood for the rest of us. Uh, so, so as I kind of talked about in the intro, and as you guys are well aware, because you're, you're here, obviously, uh, I tend to be more fab play focused, right? We talk tech strategy, we'll talk three crafting, like, you know, we were talking Lexi the other day about how to play her, talking about how to deal with frostbite tokens, right? That's the type of stuff I like to talk about here, as well as, you know, actually share the, the gameplay videos. And what I wanted to talk about today was how we as a community, right, not only just for this channel, but for other community content creators out there who are doing a, a really good job trying to support the play side of this, the small actions we can take to, to help raise that, to help support that and reinforce that that is what we as a community want. Uh, furthermore, I've also got some, like I, I mentioned, I have some help needed, right? I have help needed from you guys. I have some opportunities from you guys as a community to really help us make the content that we all want, right? Like what, what I want, what my vision is for us collectively as a community to build a, our own community here, our own flesh and blood focused community. So that's what I want to talk about today. Now, you know, the impetus for today's cast was sure some things that you know I've I've seen recently, but also looking at my own my own data, my own analytics for for my own videos, right? Which is literally comparing apples to apples. And one of the things I mentioned in the intro is you know what I'm seeing from a data standpoint on on a bad game, right? Where there's a game with a play mistake, somebody misses a trigger, or you know especially like a negative trigger that helped them win the game, something like that. Those type of videos, because of the way that YouTube and Facebook work, and YouTube in this case, right, because of the way that those algorithms work and reward engagement, those videos that actually get more comments was like, oh, mistake made at 10.05, oh, mistake made at 12.14, right? That type of stuff actually leaves more comments. The more dislikes on those things, believe it or not, dislikes count as engagement. 
So the, the end result there is that bad games, right, actually get more views because when they engage, they actually get put to the top of using the algorithms, they actually get put to the top, right? So for example, there was a great game, in my opinion, it was a great game, Dorenthia versus Bravo of Steven and I last week did not get very many views because people watch it, they're like, okay, cool. I've got nothing to comment on here because I can't tell anybody they did anything wrong. And then the video did not get views. Whereas the Lexi video where we had a Brave Forge, uh, not a, sorry, a, a Bracers miss, right? Where they were reloading an arsenal that already had something in there. Tons of comments, tons of engagement on, on a game that had a mistake in it, right? And, and I think we can inherently see, and, and again, I want to be very clear, mistakes are fine. We all learn from those, right? That's why I put that stuff up. That's not the problem. But you can see the problem that we as content creators and we as a community are facing in that the way those algorithms work, right, is when we only engage, when we as a community only engage, whether positive or negatively, but whether we, when we only engage with stuff that is bad and stuff that is a problem and stuff that we dislike, we're actually hurting ourselves by propelling that stuff more forward, right? I hope that makes sense. And then to, to kind of address the overall challenge that, you know, myself and, and people like Outcast Haven have, you know, I love the Outcast Haven guys, right? You guys know that. And they are very gameplay focused. That's what they want to talk about, right? The, the challenge that we have versus others in the community is that, you know, a finance vid or a, oh my God, the new set's been released. Here's all the speculation stuff, you know, eight minutes after with no prep work, no pre-thought, just some dude getting on and waving his hands, right? All of this stuff gets way more views than people who sit down, have a logical plan, and want to actually talk strategy. So what can we as a community do to, to shift that? And again, people can like what they like. And the the you know the, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who do a very good job. They're very entertaining. I watch them myself. They do a great job. But, but do we as a community want to focus in on having a sealed box sitting on our shelf? Or do we as a community want to focus in on talking about, you know, maybe this is the way to play Lexi, right? What, what do you want? And, you know, part of, part of the impact of that is, is essentially the way we vote with our clicks and our likes and our subs. So I kind of wanted to throw kind of a crazy example up this weekend, right? So what, what I have up right now was this, this went up in the global fan page. And this post right here is so kind of flesh and blood related. It's not flesh and blood related at all. This person went to a soccer game with his girlfriend and posted about it, right? This was all of these pictures that I'm going to be showing are taken within like the same time frame. I timestamped them so that you can compare, right? This one got 20, this, this one went up and within like an hour and a half, two hours had 24 likes. By contrast, the Outcast Haven's thumbnail advertising their video talking about basically Cincinnati, the calling competitive flesh and blood got three likes, right? Had been up for, you see, it says yesterday, right? It had been up for 24 hours, snapshotted within minutes of the previous one. It had three likes, right? Why is the community liking a, you know, on a flesh and blood fan page, why is a community liking a post that's not even about flesh and blood more than two guys who spent multiple hours of their life producing content? strategy-based content, right? That goes into my, my, my meme thing, right? And finally, this last one, this one had been up for multiple days, but 130 likes because someone's dog got a hold of their e-strike, right? Now, again, sure. I mean, I admit it's kind of funny. I mean, in a sad way, it's kind of funny, right? But like, why does something like this get 130 likes, but, you know, a, a, a YouTube video thing or, you know, the the podcast by, I mean, but you guys see what I'm saying, right? We as a community are not rewarding those that are doing the content based stuff. So, so what is the motivation? What is the motivation overall for a content, right? Especially for those, those, there are content creators out there, YouTubers that do this, like they've quit their job. They do this as their career, their motivation to spend a lot more time to prep a strategy discussion is very small when they can just get on and talk about the recent price trends or the recent news and get 10x, 10x the views, 10x the engagement, right? So it's what we as a community need to do, right? Let's let's take it all the way back to the gameplay thing, right? If you watch the gameplay thing, some, just put in a comment, great game, 
right? Just put in, put in that thumbs up, right? And you know, the, 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 the dislikes is something that's, it's a very fascinating trend in, in the YouTube culture, right? Because a lot of people are very quick to dislike, but most of the people who dislike would never in a million years actually give a like, right? So it's, it's kind of this un, now again, I want to actually be clear here, likes and dislikes, believe it or not, actually both count for engagement in terms of promoting it. it and isn't that then of itself a problem, right? Because, because we know that people will dislike before they will like, isn't it to my advantage to actually put out controversial and bad content, right? As opposed to trying to do quality content, right? It's better to talk about, you know, I, the, I, I put out a video a couple weeks ago where I was talking about never say never again, how they shouldn't have said, how LSS should not have said they were never printing Crucible of War, whether they were or not. Multiple dislikes, huge engagement on that, right? Weren't even talking strategy, we were talking something emotional, right? So if I were to look at that metric and if that was all I cared about, I'd just make another video about controversy and, and we'd go from there, right? So we as a community, we who actually want to see more strategy, more deck tech, more gameplay, just vote. All you need, vote by making a click, right? Make that click, make that like. And, you know, again, of course it helps me, but it helps us collectively, right? This, this is, of, co of course, there's a selfishness in this. But there's also selfish, well, there's selfishness in my content production. But I also want to see that across the board. I would like to see it across the board. I would love for the Outcast Haven to be one of the top YouTubers. I would love for Dice Commando to get way more hits instead of the finance or the news base type stuff. So that's my piece. Now, how are we going to fix that, right? Aside from what I said about, you know, make sure just make the nice, make a comment, make the click up, right? Vote with your, vote with your effort. Uh, but now what I want to do is I want to announce how I want to build my vision here of this video is I want us to come out of this and I want us to be reinvigorated and I want it to be each of our personal mission to build a better fab community and let's start right here, right? So you guys may have noticed the interview with Eli Browerman. This was uh, two weeks ago, fab community corner. That was a kickoff of fab community corner. Let's talk about what you care about with special guest, you baby, right? So what I'm doing is I'm kicking off Fab Community Corner. The vision here is interviews with you, people from the community. If you go 4-0 at an armory, let's do it. You actually win a game with Datadoll. Let's get you on here and talk about it. Right? I mean, you know, shots fired at Datadoll there, right? You guys know what I'm saying, right? If you do something awesome, you go to the calling and you top, top eight, or you know what? Maybe you go to the calling and you lose every game and you learned more than you ever learned in your life. I wanna hear about that too, right? Let's get you guys on here. Let's change the face of flesh and blood content creation to be community focused, community learning, and actually be focused on playing this damn game. We can do this and we can do it with your help, but we can only do it with your help, right? So there's been many people out there who I've talked with in the past. Dozer, right? Dozer, if you're still watching this, man, I know we had talked about getting you on here and it just kind of died on the table. I want you on here, man, right? Other people have talked about getting on here and talking about Sabres Bolton and it just dies on the table because we're not able to link up. Let's do it. My commitment to you, to you guys as a community, is to make this happen. But I can't make it happen without your help. And as cheesy as that sounds, it's the truth. So again, I love interacting with you guys, right? This is, I'm not making a ton of money off YouTube. It's my hobby, right? I have a normal job. This is my hobby. I'm not trying to get rich here. I'm trying to build a community and something that's fun. And this is what I love doing, but I need your help to do it. And as corny as that sounds, it's the truth. So I love doing what we're doing here. I want to see it get better. I want to see it get better for everyone that actually cares about playing the game of flesh and blood and come help me out. So I'll put info on how to get in touch with me. The best way is to message me on Facebook under Dice Commando. That's a great way. If you guys are on that, you can also hit me up at Dr. Ashman on the Discord. Let's go from there and let's get this stuff figured out. Thank you very much for viewing today's video. I know it was short and ironically, or maybe not ironically, whatever the proper use of that is, I know it wasn't it's tech and strategy related, but it's helping to build that better community. Thank you guys very much, not only for tuning in today, but for every day and for everything you do to help build flesh and blood. Go Commando.